Art Acquisition Fund was started in 2003 by Rasmussen Foundation and Museums Alaska. And the whole purpose behind the grant was to support artists and also support museums at the same time. It's allowed museums to purchase over 1,300 artworks from living artists and add it to their collection. So we've been able to give these museums the funding who then give it to artists who then support their local economies. And the funding just keeps growing and, and helping so many people and it has for 20 years. So this allows us to systematically collect the work of a broad range of artists, as well as to pick pieces that reflect issues, traditions, expressions of modern culture in a way that we could never do if we didn't have the grants. Part of our job in a museum is to keep everything contemporary and to respond to what is happening in society and to stay relevant. And so historians of the future can go into those records and, and really understand those events in a very different way. And so that's one of my jobs in being in ethnology and history is thinking about how do we document, how do we capture these times that we're going through right now and that people in the future will be able to really understand why we have these things here, why they're important to Alaskans of 2024. I think the most important impact is the ability to collect systematically and to develop a real collection of contemporary art. And I think that's amazing that we can put the artwork out into a context that it continues to tell its story. The wonderful things about the, the Alaska Art Fund in particular is just that opportunity to go to the artists and say, how would you like to be represented? Rather than, oh, a donor happens to, you know, give us a piece of art from their own collection, to really be able to say, what is the story you want to share? This one, I think, is probably the only one where the grant application and the reporting afterwards, the burden is on the person who's purchasing the artwork and doesn't put the burden on the artist. So we're trying to make sure that we're being fair with all Alaska Native artists and, and representing all of the different cultures and language groups to make sure that um, their voices are heard here, their perspectives are heard from. Art is a way to communicate that goes beyond words. So it's a really important tool that we have here at the museum uh, and Heritage Center to get points across and have people better understand context and where they are. This program has really opened up doors for um, Indigenous voice, Alaska Native voice. I think in that way it's been super impactful and elevated not just my voice but other, other artists' voice as well. I think it's great that they're giving artists the opportunity to expand and do things they haven't been able to do. It's given me more time so I can learn more things and experiment and not just produce. I think as Alaskans, we're really lucky, incredibly lucky to have something like the Rasmussen Foundation. It's a great program because, you know, sometimes it's just stuff, sh it belongs in a museum. It should not just go out there into the market. And if it's an important piece, it's good to have it in an institution so it'll have more eyes on it, more people caring about it and then actually carrying it on into the future. But, you know, for an artist, knowing that you can create a piece of art and that uh, it can find a home. I'm always happy when my stuff finds a home, but I'm really thrilled when it goes to a, an institution or a museum or a school or something like that as one of my pieces, because I know that it'll be there beyond my lifetime. The Alaska Art Fund has, has a really big impact on not only the big museums, but the small museums especially, because small museums do, often don't even have funding to pay for staff members, but even the volunteer-run museums can apply for this grant program and expand their collection 
and tell those new stories in their communities and support artists in their communities, which supports the local economy as well. Not only is the grant providing the, the artist funding and money that they can then use for their living expenses, but it's also allowing them to do projects that they might not have ever thought of that allow them to reconnect with their culture as well. We really want to thank the Rasmussen Foundation because without their support, none of our grant programs would be possible. And we're so lucky to say that here in Alaska, that this is something that Museums Alaska has been able to help with 